Previously on Trails of Cold Steel. Alright, so welcome back my adoring public for more Trails of Cold Steel. Feral Fiasco here, and uh, you'll see we were about level 11, well, not about, we were level 11 when we tried to tackle the boss last time. Everyone's gone up two levels, and you should have seen uh, the the uh, increases we've had to our Master Courses. Um, what we're also going to do, because I realize we need to, we're not going to do this without, and we've got a lot more... Uh, We've got the ability to open a lot more slots now. So Elliot is actually up. Yeah. Mmm. Oh crap. Elliot was up and Elliot kind of took everything for us. Literally can't open anything from anyone else. Uh. Crap. Hmm. Well, I jumped into that one. But, uh. Alright, Orbment. Quartz. We're gonna synthesize. We can make everything here. Oh, and I off. I also changed uh, poison because poison wasn't super helpful to HP plus five hundred for uh, Laura. So since she's up in the front a lot, yeah, she needs that. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and take a look at the quartz. What can we give people? Yes, you'll see it right there. And she's still got Thalys. What I was wanting to do, yes, was give Thalys to him as well. Uh, this can only be something specific. Detection, which he already knows. No, undiscovered treasure chests are shown on the map or Golden Sphere. Might as well give him Golden Sphere. If I have to give him Golden Sphere... Hmm... <sighs> Because Elliot could definitely use that. Let's see. We're not going to get much use out of Frost Edge in this fight, honestly. So we're not. So we're going to change that. We're going to change Frost Edge. Give her the HP plus one. Spark Arrow. We're also not going to get too much use out of. So this is looking... I really... Golden Sphere is... Okay, so I'm starting to understand now. We have to equip Golden Sphere here. So for example, for Laura, we have to equip, uh, equip, uh, equip a water to here. And we can only equip water to here. Uh, and for... This has to be something time related, right? Yeah, Soul Blur. What is that? It meant a time-shaking space pulse. Soul Blur is the only thing we can put there, so we might as well do that. Uh, yeah. Okay. And we're gonna heal once more. Rest. Alright, just wanted to update everything. We're gonna go, because we're, we're planning around opening with uh, some strong attacks. Not on the Jokers in the beginning. They freaking suck. But, uh on the real fight uh, fight after that, because it doesn't heal us between the battles. System data. All right, let's go ahead. We're going to try this once more. Now we're going to get into the real fight. Nope. Everybody shut up. We've got that huge Grenogia coming at us, but we definitely need to use Detector on it, if nothing else but to, uh... Because Detector is actually pretty good, definitely better than Analyze. Actually, to make things easier, I probably could take... No, because Detector is on his own Master Quartz. But I can give, uh, Ring Detector... Oh, I'm just now realizing what the difference between Detector and Analyze is. Detector costs CP or EP or something, while Analyze doesn't. 
But Analyze also takes time while Detector doesn't. Ignoring Baboon Grenoja. Is this thing new? I don't think this played when we fought the Gargoyle, did it? This looks tough. Careful! So just like before... Alright, we're gonna open by killing these things. Let's see, arts, uh... Crafts, no. Resounding beat. While everyone's standing here. Boom, baby! Epiphany. Green can now use Flame Slash. Oh, man. Okay, so it just, it's not gonna wall up Green just yet, but it will next turn. No, that's that one. Cool. All right, three sixteen. That's actually pitiful. I should have used Flamberge instead. If nothing else, but to get the burn started. Oh, that's really strong. Man. Okay, cool. It didn't instantly drop Reen, but it did instantly drop her. Uh, we're at 200. Forget it, we have to. It would have been nicer if they were closer together, but... Alright. Finish it! Dang, dude. It's my turn. Uh, arts, heat wave. Yeah. My turn. Uh, arts, detectors next. Craft. Detector on this guy. Alright. I've got it. And it's does not particularly efficacious against most stuff. Slash though is good. Heat wave. Hopefully this takes out what that thing. No, still not enough. They are kind of blocking it. Miss! Got him! Cripes, dude. Burn took that out. But then it killed everybody! Oh my right. gosh. Um Let's go! Bayless. Bring Laura back, and she stands right back up. Excellent. Um, CP up is good. We need at least a hundred, though. Nah, because that thing could drop Reen in the time it takes him to do that. Get him! Right. 684? Yeah, that thing is still beefy. Uh, he's linking to Laura. Um, let's do Blue Lullaby, dude. Get some damage off with uh, Elliot. 162 damage. You did it, Elliot. Uh, okay, cool! The boss is asleep! Whew. Okay, so we're not gonna mess this time up. Uh because I learned during I learned during my grinding that if you hit a sleeping enemy, it revives them. Grants Light's clarity to raise ATS ADF. Uh it's a port area though. Cool. No, we want to heal that area first though. Mm. Blessed arrow. Thanks. Cool. Right. Uh, we're going to, because we still don't have enough for that. Uh, arts, 
Forte. Yeah, we're gonna Forte Laura. My turn. And then Impassion on Reen. Yeah. Skip a turn? Cool. But we're not gonna get another turn to do that. Ugh. Alright, arts, uh, no, not arts, uh, crafts, resounding beat. I don't want to risk it with another blue. We got really lucky with that blue lullaby working. Uh, firebolt. Because what's he weak to? Fire's got 120 efficacy. And then we're going to Spark Arrow next. Well, let's uh actually use Fortuna on the chick who's about to get it. Of course. Uh, arts. Armor Breaker. Let's get some! Got him! Right? Huh? ATS up, ADF up. Deadly cry. Oh, that's it for Elliot. Yeah. But that's okay because we have Thalys. Uh, arts. We're gonna tear Laura. Is she linked to anyone? Reen, yeah. Alright, step back, sonny boy. I just didn't want to waste that critical. Alright. And Reen is almost at 200. Nothing for crafts? Does Deadly Cry make me not be able to use crafts? That kind of sucks, actually. Firebolt! My turn. Alright. And we've got one more craft that we need to use before, and that should actually put us up to where we need to be. Oh! He's after Reen now! But that's good. We've got someone behind him and someone in front of him. So this so we can't get everybody in one hit. Uh arts. Hmm. Bayless, actually. What am I doing? Thanks. My turn. Alright, uh Laura needs to link with Elliot first of all. And then she needs to use a Tira Balm. She can't use a Tira Balm. Uh, Arts. Can she hit him with Thalys? Yeah, she can get Reen. But it won't be till after this thing moves. Alright, Reen. So we've already got it set up for Reen to be targeted with Thalys. We're gonna S break. Flame Slash, Sunny Boy. Get some! Boom, baby! 2002! Fists of Fury on Laura! Jesus! Uh. Oh, man. Blessed Arrow. But now we're all standing together, and that's not good. <laughs> Thanks. Hmm. Sepeth up, and she's back to full health. Okay, that was just a regular hit and a critical at the at that. Uh, crafts resounding beat. All right, and Reen. First.
course he's gonna use impassion on himself again. She's gonna move out the way. Yeah, now you have to pick someone to target, dude. Don't kill Laura. There we go. Uh, do I have anything that can... I can't do anything with her, actually. Uh, Flamberge. Yeah, dude. Take this. 240, no burn, though. Um... Tear. We're gonna tear Laura. Yeah, Critical's just gonna have to go to waste, dude. I'm scared. You have my things. Alright. Uh, let's see if we'll get lucky with the... No, forget that. We need to tear Reen, too. And then Laura's next turn, she can get in there. Right. Yeah, I'm not gonna try to wait. Huh. Get some, dude! 1709, alright. Alright, so she took that swipe like a champ, uh... Arts, we're gonna firebolt. Let's see. I don't have very much EP left with her, but lots of CP. Need to fire and has 100% burn efficacy. Yes, that's what I was wanting. 403. Uh, Arts, we're gonna re up on a uh, craft. Yep, resounding beat. Boom. We might need to move Elisa a little bit further away. Here we go. Arts, Firebolt, let's get in there. Seven. Okay, we're still good because it's Laura. Whew. Almost there with the Grenoja. And we're gonna hold off on Reen. Blessed Arrow. Does she. No, she doesn't need a Blessed Arrow right this second. If it really comes down to it, we can have uh, Elliot throw a healing item at her. No, we're gonna we're gonna play. No, we are going to play this safe. Forget that. You have my things. Oh, and that here you'll CP too. Hold the phone. Okay. I think we may have just found her main contribution to the fight. All right, get some. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Arts, crafts. Blue lullaby, don't have enough for that. Alright, so then, let's go ahead. We're gonna get this guy with an Earth Lance. My turn. Firebolt. Deadly Cry. Not enough to kill anyone. But it paralyzed. Natural remedy. I don't know who that was, but... Oh, and Laura's got a critical? Oh, he resists that, actually. I should have checked that. EP heal. Oh, we got 45 EP. Arts? No, we're not gonna arts. We're going... We can't use crafts! Crap, and Laura's got critical coming up, too. Uh... ATS up. There we go. go. Arts. Yeah. Yeah, because that critical is coming up for Elliot, and we don't want that. Activate. Huh. Get him! Huh. HP heal, which is good. Uh. I think I might as well Earth... No, he's, he resists Earth Lance. What about Aqua? Wait, resist? He's got 100 efficacy to it. Whatever. Uh. Hmm. What are our items looking like? Our items are looking fine. Uh, crafts. Oh, I can use blue lullaby again. Mm. 
Yeah, let's do it. We're gonna just try it. If we can get him to sleep? No, that was too much to hope for. Oh, right, I forgot I could do this. Uh... Arts. We have to use Fireball, dude. Oh, no, that's gonna kill her. No, it just knocked her down! Uh, crafts. You better believe we're gonna use Blessed Arrow. Forget, uh, no, that's Flamberge I selected. Can I get Elliot too on Blessed Arrow? I cannot. Well, that's fine, because Laura needs it the mo uh, more. And when she gets up, she'll be able to use her S Craft too. My turn. I'm still holding out for Reens. We're gonna use Impassion on Reens. Ugh, just a regular hit. Excellent. Right. And you are going to definitely reestablish Resounding Beat on Laura. Give it up, everyone. And that's it for uh, Elliot's CP. He's completely spent. My turn. Um, yeah, we got, we've got Critical and we've got his Flame Slash. Let's do this. Alright. Show him what's what. 19, 12, uh, 21. Right. Mm, and she's got zero arts. Heat wave, most definitely. Oh, I should have used spark wave, actually, but heat wave's okay, too. Uh, just a regular hit. It's my turn. Mm, arts, nope, nothing on the arts end. Can't use blessed arrow. Let's get Flamberge going. Almost there. Pierce! 79 damage. It's still damage. Um, Arts. We're gonna use Golden Sphere. Yeah. My turn. It is indeed your turn. Alright. Alright. 1762! Golden Sphere? Golden Sphere! Deadly Cry. One more. It shouldn't kill anyone. It's gonna hurt, but it's not gonna kill anyone. 2040! The burn, dude! Burns are so strong! I love it. Oh my gosh! You made us work for it, dude. Oh, we did it! Definitely! All right, 14, 14, 14. Man, attack two. Cool. I did it. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> I did it. Excellent. Those HP plus 500s seriously helped out. I don't think we would have been able to win that without those. You're telling me, dude. That battle was almost half an hour long. I thought we were done for. <sighs> Still, at least we were able to defeat it. I'll say. Reen, what was that skill you just performed? Flame Slash, obviously. Oh, it was something I've been working on for a while. When? This was the first chance I had to put it through its paces, though. I definitely feel like I'm getting the hang of it now. Okay. I see. <laughs> you really are amazing, Reen. Sorry, you're kind of chopped liver, Laura. Yeah, you're always there to help us when we need it most. No, that's not true. There's really only so much I can do on my own. We wouldn't have been able to defeat that thing if we hadn't all been working together as a team. I cannot decide if Reen is Dave Wittenberg or Matthew Mercer. This was a victory for Group A as a whole. <laughs> it, no, he's serious though. <laughs> well said. Indeed. Uh, unbelievable. Uh, what are these kids even doing here? That bastard. This wasn't supposed to happen. 
Who are you talking about? Uh oh. What? Is that instructor Sarah? Oh. It seems we have some unwelcome guests. Or the provincial army. Yeah, there they are. And they're not alone. Is this Bookum Dano? This is Bookum Dano. Us? Okay. Put your hands in the air. Don't try to resist. <sighs> Why are you surrounding us and not them? Keep your mouth shut. Don't think we're going to go easy on you just because you're students. <laughs> Looks like all your hard work was for nothing, huh? Sucks to be you. They're not even trying to hide their involvement. Utterly shameless. You're jumping to an awful lot of conclusions. I see two groups of people and a collection of stolen goods, but no indication which group is responsible. Do you have any way to prove that the four of you aren't the perpetrators? What? Do you intend to frame us? This is preposterous! I'm just telling you that you need to mind your own business and learn your place. The Croizen province is the territory of Duke Alborea. And I will not have a gaggle of bratty students poking their noses where they don't belong. We'll back down now, or we'll be more than happy to arrest you right here and drag you to Borea Hard City, kicking and screaming. This is ridiculous! I'm afraid you'll be doing no such thing. Sarah to save us? What? Who's there? Uh. Oh! No! Who are these guys? It's... The... Railway Military Police! Railway Military Police? Yeah, the RMP! They're supposed to be the most elite unit in the whole of the Imperial Army. Okay. The, the Icy Maiden. Why has one of the Chancellor's dogs come here? What is the meaning of this? This area is under the jurisdiction of the Croizen Provincial Army. The Imperial Army has no right to intervene! With all due respect, Keldic is a major interchange station in our railway network. So in point of fact, we have every right to investigate any incidents that occur in this general vicinity. Uh, I guess. As I'm sure you well know. Uh. And in accordance with our investigation thus far, after having questioned all those connected to the incident, we have concluded that it is impossible for any of these students to be guilty of these crimes. Hey! When you're right, you're right, right? Do you wish to contest this judgment? I suppose not. Well then, may I suggest you leave us to do our jobs? The RMP will take responsibility for returning all of the stolen goods to their rightful owners as well. Alright. Oh. Men, withdraw. We're returning to Keldic. Ye yes, sir. Understood, sir. You've got to be kidding me. We had a deal. Take them into custody. Yes, ma'am. Crime doesn't pay. There's no point in resisting. You're coming with us. Yeah, you better run! Skedaddle, boys! Damned Iron Blood Dog. Mm. Uh, she's really pretty. Is she really part of the RMP? Hmm. <laughs> Thank you all very much for your assistance. 
Claire Rivelt. My name is Captain Claire Rivelt of the Railway Military Police. We're a division of the Imperial Army. All right. And you are the visiting students from Thor's Military Academy, are you not? Why do you know that? I'll need to file a report about what happened here. So would the four of you mind accompanying me? We're definitely... I don't think we can even say no. <laughs> like, could we Could we decline? That, that wasn't a question. Legion of Heroes, Trails of Cold Steel. Dude, we got... We did it. Actually, we didn't end the corruption in the Provincial Army, but we got the goods back, so... Silver Lining? Right? Celtic Station. We really are grateful for everything you've done today. Thanks to you, the stolen goods have been recovered, and those responsible have been found and arrested. I can't possibly express my gratitude. I'm just glad we were able to help. Besides, it was only thanks to the RMP's involvement that we were able to catch the culprits in the end. Oh, there's no need to be so modest. All we did was physically arrest the culprits. The rest was entirely on you. If not for your assistance in stopping the criminals from escaping, we would have had well, we would have missed our chance to intervene altogether. I believe the credit for this achievement is yours and yours alone. <laughs> All this attention is kind of Embarrassing. Still, I suppose it would be rude to not accept your thanks. Indeed, you should all be very proud of what you've accomplished here. So, can we leave everything in your capable hands from here on out, Captain? Of course. I'm intending to leave a number of our soldiers here for the time being. Rest assured that we'll take care of any further problems that may arise. We are greatly obliged. Still, while your personal loyalties may differ, both the RMP and the Provincial Army are made up of Erebonian soldiers. So I'd appreciate it if you tried not to stand out too much. Your presence may create some anxiety among the locals. I'll be sure to keep that in mind. Thank you for your cooperation with our report. I'm sorry to take up so much of your time. Oh, no, not at all. And, um, we really appreciate you coming to our aid like that. Oh, there's no need to thank me, really. In fact, the more I think about it, the more I regret having stepped in at all. Overcoming such an impossible situation was probably meant to be part of your field study, too. So build character, perhaps. What? Does she know Sarah? Yeah, I may be good, but I'm not that good. <laughs> oh! I instructor? I was wondering when you'd show up. She seemed to move pretty quickly. It's been a while, Sarah. She does know Sarah! That it has. Six months, give or take? Honestly, I had no idea you RMP folks were going to get involved with this. I suppose you had everything that was happening here figured out all along. Probably if she knows you. You overestimate my abilities. I did receive a report that suggested there might be trouble here, but that's it. Oh, from your brother, I take it. Nothing gets past mm. you lot. We're just trying to make sure we're prepared to deal with any problems that might arise. Her brother, and it was in like quotes. But I'm sorry to say I don't have any more time to catch up with you right now. I really need to be taking my leave. All right. I wish all the best to you and the rest of class seven. Wow, a normal salute. Normally they go out of their way to make these really weird salutes, like a uh, uh, Attack on Titan. That salute is freaking stupid. Ugh. Is she really part of the military? She sure didn't seem it. Her movements and actions, however, were those of a skilled officer. Highly skilled. Yeah, 
And the rest of the railway military police seem really trained too. I uh, seem really well trained too. You know her, Instructor? You could say that. Anyway, it looks like you've managed to finish up all the tasks I laid out for you. So I think it's about time we take our leave of this place too. Understood. Do take care, everyone. Give my regards to Principal Van Dyke. And if you're ever in the area again, please do come to the market and say hi. You'll be more than welcome. We will. Thank you for everything. Seriously, Celtic turned out to be really awesome of a place. I still don't remember where the regular old item shop was, which kind of made things more difficult than they probably should have been. But, hey, we did it. We managed it, and that's what matters. She's asleep again. Which makes sense. She's been going all over, uh, Erebonia. You don't think she's faking it, do you? <sighs> Maybe. It's up in the air, honestly. Hmm. Judging by her breathing, I believe she really is asleep. Well, it sounds like Group B turned out to be a complete disaster. <laughs> if she had to deal with them, then come back here on the same day? I'll bet she's totally spent. Yeah, good point. Anyone would be exhausted trying to sort that out. It's hard to imagine her actually working hard, though, considering her usual attitude. <laughs> yeah. It does seem as though she's genuinely looking out for us, however. So, this is how our first field study trip comes to an end, huh? It was It's a pretty good end. We learned there's corruption in Erebonia. I think I might have an idea now as to why we're here, though. I have the same thought. Testing the Arcus is clearly a big reason for coming here, but it's not the only reason. I think it has more to do with making sure we see everything that's going on with our own eyes. Yeah, experience it. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking, too. Learning more about places in Erebonia we've only read about in books. And getting to see the issues occurring in those regions firsthand, just like in Celtic. Yeah, so we actually understand what it's like being on the ground. Indeed. And just as we thought and acted swiftly in the face of crisis this time, so too may we be called upon to do so again. Probably sooner than we may think. These field studies may aim to test and cultivate those skills in preparation for our futures. Exactly. Add to that good judgment, decisiveness, and general conduct. And I'd say we have a pretty clear picture as to why we're out in the field. Basically, we're training everywhere we go. Well, you're about half right. Oh, wow. Wakey, wakey. Instructor. I was so certain you were sound asleep. <laughs> what can I say? I can nod off and back on again in the blink of an eye. It's what I do. As you rightly noted, having first-hand knowledge of the areas to which you might be deployed is of tremendous importance. As is the ability to make swift, accurate judgments and solve problems with or without orders. Developing all these skills to their fullest is definitely a major part of why you're undertaking these field studies. Just as I thought. It's an interesting approach, but honestly, I've never heard of any other military academy trying it. When... That's why you don't even know the names of those other military academies, because they're freaking garbage. Hmm. You say we're only half right, however. Which begs the question, what's the rest of the story? Actually, yeah. Hmm? Does Reen already know? Is something wrong? Oh, no, not at all. I was just thinking about what we did during our field study and why we were doing it. To help people. The concept seems eerily similar to the MO of Bracers. Hey, check it out! <sighs> now that you mention it... The Bracer Guild prides itself on protecting civilians over all else. So it seems an unusual source of inspiration for a military academy. But the tasks we were given in Keldic do seem to align themselves quite well with the Bracer's basic philosophy. Okay, so at least I played enough of I played enough of Trails in the Sky to at least get this kind of. Yeah, I guess so. Their emblem depicts a supporting gauntlet, and that's pretty much exactly what we've been for these people. Bracers still have branches all over the continents, but you hardly ever see them in Erebonia anymore. <laughs> well, you got me. Which means. What is she doing? <laughs> It 
instructor Sarah. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> How are you ever supposed to take her seriously when she says things like that and conspicuously falls asleep? Well, whether or not we did in fact get her, it still seems like brazers are somehow related to our activities here. Does she want us to abandon the military and become bracers or something? Instructor Sarah is likely to come clean about our involvement anytime soon. I suppose until she does, all we can do is prepare ourselves in body and mind for our next field study. Yeah. Okay. Hmm? Yeah, what's up, dude? Those three dots over your head. Is there something else bothering you? Oh, no. It's just... Well... We've been in the same class for a month now. And this whole time, I've been kind of keeping you in the dark. About what, though? What do you mean? You aren't referring to the issue regarding your swordsmanship, I take it? No, it's not that. It's something I've been hiding from you all this time. 